Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss an interesting topic about graphite mining project estimation. It is a mineral economics related topic, but very interesting because nowadays most of the uh, geologists or whoever uh, work on a different terrain, and especially in private organization, they must have idea about investment so that they can prospect in their life. Otherwise, just simple academic geologists or government geologists, they don't bother because they think a government can invest, no problem. But for private party, especially whoever are thinking to become entrepreneur, to invest somehow, to whoever dream for a own project for ownership, it is going to be interesting for them also so let's assume a medium sized graphite mining project located in tanzania so how to get that project that is called prospecting license from that there are in internet also available mining cadastral map and from there you will have to communicate with government for example tanzanian government you will be getting there are different channels there are different process for applying and once your application will be accepted it will be granted one prospecting license so that you can start initiate your prospecting so before prospecting you definitely you have to analyze the area potentiality all desktop study all literature survey based on that only you, you will be uh, applying for that license prospecting license so one once you acquire that prospecting license see then your prospecting work like mapping geological mapping and right? then geophysical survey if you, which type of geophysical survey depending upon the commodity mode of occurrence you'll have to think about those things after geophysics drilling you will have to generate target for graphite of course you will have to understand like whether electromagnetic or resistivity which kind of graphite is very conductive so regarding this graphite you have to you can see my earlier video which is very interesting regarding the benefit how how much cost nowadays how the graphite project boom are being seen in global context it is very much a lucrative idea to invest in graphite project because because of electronic vehicles and other battery and other industries graphite is in peak now it is very much uh, interesting to invest in graphite because there is a huge profit margin earlier video i have described the cost of graphite how much cost even uh, one thousand dollar to three thousand dollar up to for one ton so this is very much interesting see so therefore we'll in this video we'll be having an overall idea about the total expenditure involved then total expenditure minus total uh, gain total revenue so you'll be under having an idea about your profit margin so i'll be discussing in a brief way you'll be understanding in legible way because I'll be giving example. For example, as I have shown, let us imagine about a Tanzanian project. So even first you have to understand back calculated as well. If say for example an estimated annual production capacity is twenty thousand tons of flake graphite concentrate over a mine life of twenty years. So total tonnage you multiply it will become four lakh tons of graphite flakes. From where that graphite flex will derive? From graphite ore, for example, just where that graphitic cyst or graphitic gneiss. On that entire commodity from which graphite is extracted, that is called graphite ore for time being, you can understand. So, 4 million tons of graphite ore with a 10% graphite content, how much it will come? For, uh, 4 lakh tons. From 4 million at 10% at graphite, how much graphite will be extracted? Exact graphite, fresh graphite will become 4 lakh tons. That was that's one. So, is now 
20 years within 20 years you will be having that 4 million tons now you can imagine how much dollar you can how much billions of dollar you can earn okay now you can earn billion of dollars but before that you will have to do some investment at the beginning like mapping geophysical survey okay so your investment cost initial investment you, you will have to understand otherwise it is difficult risky business so estimating expenditures for investment in graphite mining processing marketing involves evaluation of various cost factors across different stages and of course you must have some idea regard, regarding geographic location depos, deposit type technology use market conditions and of course the country uh, political socio-economic condition political environment if it is hostile environment your inv investment will be gone so after keeping all these factors in mind you will have to invest now see different phase of expenditure i will be discussing here so first expenditure involves exploration and feasibility costs how much see exploration phase involves geological survey then ex exploring exploration drilling as and when required sometimes geophysical survey wherever soil cover area you can you can sometimes do carry on that uh, resistivity or electromagnetic survey which involves further more cost but in general geological survey exploration drilling this includes mapping drilling sampling and assaying to confirm the graphite deposits so overall estimates for that is around 5 lakhs to 15 lakhs dollar okay then uh, because this this range I am giving to ha it, it is a margin because at remote places it can be higher but it cannot exceed 15 lakhs more than 15 lakh dollar okay then resource estimation and preliminary economic assessment for that also detailed analysis and studies are needed to assess the economic potential for that cost estimates is because is around 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs US dollar then the third is feasibility study this also includes two sub stages pre feasibility study and bankable feasibility study bankable feasibility study these studies provide detailed analysis of cost processing market assessment so to do that it is that uh, around 3 lakhs okay 30 lakhs even uh, sorry 10 lakhs to 30 lakhs dollar so overall for exploration and feasibility cost how much it is coming see 1.7 million to 5 million us dollar next is so initial cost at least you you will have to understand at least 5 million tons a hey, service 5 million us dollar is required for initial before jumping into the business okay then mine and develop mine development and construction costs okay for that first land acquisition and permitting for that around 5 lakhs to 2 lakhs then permitting legal costs 3 lakhs to 10 lakhs us dollar then infrastructure development cost that estimate that is estimated about 20 lakhs to 50 lakhs mining equipment machinery that estimates is around 50 lakhs to 100 lakhs okay all are dollar then processing plant construction that cost estimates is 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs okay for a capacity of 20,000 ton per year so with year time also you can you'll have to multiply that cost okay 20,000 tons per year you see then for tailing management, environmental controls, there is also some money involved. The trailing storage facility, water treatment, dust suppression, for that estimates you can imagine 10 lakhs to 30 lakhs. Okay, so overall total mine development cost, the construction cost is 18.5 million to 39.5. You see 40 million. So, so far 40 plus 5, 45 million you, you can imagine. Initial investment. Now. 
then third thing is operating cost this is mine development cost but mine has to be operational for 20, 20 years as i have told in the beginning so for that mining and processing cost that is coming around 20 uh, sorry 11 million dollar then maintenance and repair that estimates is 5 to 10 percent of the capital cost per year say for example 1 million to 2 million annually so for 20 years you will have to multiply that is 20 million likewise cost estimates for labor that is also 1.5 to 3 million say for example workspace for 50 or 100 laborers so all these things you have to understand so mining costs involves drilling blasting hauling or transportation for that 30 to 50 per ton per 30 to 50 dollar per ton it is subdivision processing costs okay 200 to 300 dollar per ton so it is an example mining cost so, so per ton multiplied by annual production so it is coming around say for example uh, 5 lakhs uh, sorry 50 lakhs okay 5 million uh, dollar then processing cost 20,000 multiplied by 360 million like that so overall it is coming total OPEX operational expenditure that is 13.5 million to 6 million so overall if I see fourth one at the last but not the least marketing and distribution costs for advertising production uh, products are certification standard maintained for that market development activities your cost estimates is around 5 million to uh, sorry 1 lakh to 5 lakh dollar per year then transportation logistics because cost to transport cost to transport the graphite concentrate to the port and shipping customers that is also involved some uh, expenditure so for uh, cost estimate for that is 50 to 100 dollar per ton so for 20,000 ton annually as I have told this will become you multiply you, uh, automatically it will come 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs annually so total marketing and distribution also 1.1 to 2.5 million per year so now at a glance if we see the total capital expenditure at the beginning will become 20 to 44 by depending upon the circumstances this much range you can understand at least 20 and at max 45 okay million dollar and then operational expenditure that is if we summarize that total it is coming 14.6 to 18.5 okay but that operational expenditure is not at a time that is for 20 years every year that amount will be gradually we have to spend so overall if you see annual revenue now then you can compare as i have discussed in detail in earlier video regarding revenue if you assume a sale price of $1,200 per ton of flake graphite concentrate so as I have shown that 20,000 tons annual production so it will become $24 million per year per year whereas you have total invest $45 million at the beginning then operational it will become up to 18.5 so if even if if we consider all together at a time it is becoming total expenditure is 45 plus 20 at max so 65 million dollar now you you are earning 24 to 25 million dollar per year now you multiply for 20 years so you all understand the how much you can gain for time being if you if you uh, see the profit before tax revenue minus operational expenditure how much it is coming operational expenditure is 16.5 say for example on an average so 24 million minus 16.5 this is annually this is also annual expenditure it is in initial i will show you so annual gain minus annual expenditure is coming 7.5 million years a million 
dollar so every year you will be having 7.5 million dollar so how many years is required to achieve your initial investment cost this is say for example 45 now 32 million years is 32 million dollar divided by 7.5 i am taking that average 32 by 7.5 4.3 see within 5 years your total expenditure you will be compensated now after 4 years onwards 5 years onwards you will be just gaining and gaining and gaining you will be having huge profit now rest of 15 years at the rate of 7.5 million see how much you can gain so from this what are the taker always conduct a detailed feasibility study to accurately estimate those cost as real world expenses can differ substantially based on unforeseen challenges or changes in market condition but as far as graphite is concerned especially in tanzanian setting as i have told earlier it is very quite uh, lucrative idea now you after 5 years remaining 15 years how much profit you will be gaining see 7 million years multiplied by 15 7 million dollar multiplied by 15 105 see million dollar almost billion okay that is the importance of this investment so finally think about a few uh, points like investing in graphite mining processing and marketing is capital intensive requiring an estimated 20 to 44 millions in upfront cost for a medium size project so you you must have idea overall you must have at the beginning 44 or 45 at max 45 million dollar the then annual operating invest expenses will be 14.6 to 18.5 million and the profitability largely depends on the market price of graphite concentrate and efficient operation as i have told graphite market price and detail things are already described detailed in detail in earlier video so what is the conclusion for this this presentation is mainly intended to demonstrate a typical investment profile but individual projects may vary greatly based on location deposit characteristics technology and market condition but i am taking a hypothetical of course not hypothetical i am taking a real life real almost uh, situation in tanzania so that's it i hope you understand thanks